hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's explore a generator called triplanar so i would like to start creating a solid layer this is an example file just you can go to file open samples and i've opened a, a preview sphere uh, model and uh, this model is already baked with all the suitable texture maps so if you go to the position you should able to see the position map you have the curvature map so you can uh, you have all the maps which are generally required to achieve this so i would like to start with a solid layer and then put a red color there and uh, i'd like to just uh, bring this uh, uh, just slightly bump it up 0 0.05 is more than sufficient and uh, <coughs> I would like to make it little bit glossy and nothing important about this but just I thought to create a material on top of it so uh, I'll be adding a white mask here and then I will create a generator and then in generator section I will use triplanar as I told you this all generators use one or the other information which is either the baked map or the position of the object and all that stuff so I'm using the triplanar generator so it brings up a very limited set of options like <coughs> uh, so firstly what is triplanar is uh, you know when we put a texture it is uh, uh, applied on the model based on the UVs uh, but sometimes you don't want that to happen and uh, you uh, wanted the textures to be projected uh, from plane from cylinder or spherical mappings uh, triplanar is one of such kind but this projects the texture from three different angles that is x y and z uh, angles so it will project the texture and uh, it will blend <coughs> where this uh, planes are overlapping so let me take uh, at, at input here uh, from this mask uh, area and then I will take a, a procedural texture so I'll, I'll just take a simple alpha in this case so we have a polygon here and then uh, we have uh, if you could see texture tiling I'll increase the texture tiling and then you should able to see that uh, texture has been projected here on the model from all directions okay <coughs> So it's projecting from all directions there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce a blend contrast. Oh, sorry, I'll increase a blend contrast and you should be able to see there's a plane here and th that plane is ending up there. And from this side, the texture is projected from this angle and the, the plane is ending. So you should be able to see that three planes. So I'll just uh, go to the X axis plane and then just uh, uh, offset the uh, X and I should able to see that is where this uh, plane has projected the texture the rest of them are projected by different planes so I'm moving this X axis and I'm moving this Y axis and also we have the rotation control so this is a very exclusive uh, triplanar tool I can say which uh, can help you in a great way and uh, we have uh, <coughs> the y axis projection which is going to be on the top side so you should uh, so it's the side one so i'm going to select this and i'm just uh, offsetting this texture and then we have the rotation also then we have the z axis uh, <coughs> which is again here it's offsetting this on both sides so this area has to be blended nicely this is where the blend contrast value comes in picture this is not very ideal for this kind of textures uh, you can rely on some other uh, types right now when i've created the polygon we have all the options of polygons here uh, you can um, modify the texture related controls here this is very exclusive parameter section for the polygon let's say if you go there and then choose some other texture let's say I'm going to take the black and white spots 
then you have uh, those parameters okay so you can uh, put a random seed or invert it or contrast it all that stuff is uh, seen here so here this uh, triplanar uh, contrast um, you could see that though it's uh, looking very seamless in this texture as I told you uh, you can blend them if you wanted that uh, to be seamless so any pattern is not uh, suggested here uh, textures are more uh, suitable in this uh, tri uh, projection triplanar projection even if I take the cells you should be able to see that uh, projection is giving that overlaps of that texture however you should see some clean texture here so that overlap can be clearly seen and if I increase the contrast you see that is where the blend is happening there okay so um, triplanar is just uh, a texture projection tool that's what this generator does and uh, yeah, I would like to go to the tile section and then just have a look on this. This looks really cool, but again, if you just go close, you would see the real issue with this particular uh, uh, map. Uh, only recommended uh, thing is don't use the patterns, use uh, textures, organic textures suitable for that.